So let this u, v and u intersection v be open pathwise connected and x be the union of u and v. And they have a common base point. Now v is simply connected. Then you set n as the normal subgroup of pi 1 u generated by the image of pi 1 u intersection v. So diagrammatically you have this figure but this v is simply connected so this becomes a trivial group here. So what you do is you just take pi 1 x is equal to pi 1 u modulo this n where n is generated by the image of pi 1 u intersection v in pi 1 u. So let us uh, do some examples to make this clear. So first we start with the example of a torus. So the torus is like this. You have two edges say A here, A here. You have edge B here and you have edge B here. So now what you do is you cut out a space V out of it. So once you cut out the space V out of it, the space V is uh, equivalent to a point and uh, this is just a trivial group right here. And the space U is the rest of the space. So obviously U union V gives you the torus back. So, so U union V is the torus. Now if you take the circle out, this in torus there is only one vertex so all these four points get identified to a single vertex v so this will deformation retract into s1 wedged with s1 so this will deformation retract into s1 wedged with s1 one of the edges is a and this other is b so this is u so after you cut this circle out of the torus, what you will get a deformation retract, uh, retract to S1 wedge with S1 and the V is a point. So uh, let us write down the group. So for V you have this trivial group. For U you will have Z star Z. So only thing remaining is the intersection. So you can see the intersection is nothing but a circle S1. So this is S1 which is just fundamental group if you look at it is just integers so pi 1 of s1 is integers so you have integers right here but what we have to see is how this pi 1 u intersection v uh, embeds into pi 1 of u so say this is generated by something called r so generated by some element r so say r goes in this direction like this this is a circle r is going like this so if r is going like this Corresponding to R, what is happening is that uh, you first traverse A, it's the same direction as R, then you traverse B, then you tra traverse, this is opposite direction of our R, so this arrow will be going like this, this is opposite direction, so you have A inverse, and B is also opposite direction, so you have B inverse. So this R this R which is in S1 goes into Z star Z in this way. So this R uh, goes to A, B, A inverse, B inverse. So our free group for torus, this looks like this. Like A, B which is generated by Z star Z that is, you know, this Z star Z is generated by A here and B right here. So A, B and then how R embeds into it. So R embeds as A, B, A inverse, B inverse equals to identity. Because once you start from here, you go everywhere around, you come back right here. So now we do the Klein bottle. So Klein bottle looks exactly like the torus, but one direction is reversed. So B is like this. So you see arrow is reversed. You have A here and you have A here. Again you cut out the same whole V in it and you try to go in the same direction. So again uh, the diagram will remain the same. The only thing we have to see is how this R goes around. So this R and S1, this R which is the generator of pi 1 S1, take the same direction. Now it goes as 
you have a and b are so a b a inverse this is exactly what it was in torus so you have a b a inverse but now b is in the same direction so a b a inverse b so your uh, group for uh, klein bottle would be again you have a b uh, because this uh, this I will again deformation retract to S1 wedge with S1 for if you cut this V out. So everything is precisely like the torus. But now the relationship is A, B, A inverse B is the identity. Now let us do the Dunn's cap. So for Dunn's cap, we are going to take four edges. So all these edges are a single edge A. So all of them identify with each other. So now here in this case, you again take a set out, which is V, which is again a circle. So this uh, pi 1 of U intersection V is pi 1 of S1, which is again integers. And if you have something like R, which is generating it, this R is same as you uh, a is go the same direction, so R goes to A4. On the other hand, if you take uh, V out, this will again deformation retract, but it will now retract like this. All edges are just A because there is no B here. All edges are just A, so there is no B here, just A. So what you get is A and then A4 is identity. So this is for the Dunn's cap. So obviously if you have n-fold Dunn's cap, then this will become A and then A N is identity. So last thing we do here is a length space. So what is a length space? So you take this uh, disk in complex numbers and you identify the boundary points. So you identify this with this. So you identify Z1 with Z2. So this is a unit disk. So if it is unit disk, its boundary is S1. So you identify two uh, points on the boundary if Z1N is equal to Z2 of N. So this length space you call as LN. So L2 means Z1 square is equal to Z2 square. So let us decompose this into sets U and V. So set U, you will take, uh, you will just take the length space minus point zero. So you have the length space and you take zero out of it. And V is, you take this uh, ball B or disk B in the complex uh, plane and uh, without the boundary. So you have this Z such that this Z is modulus is less than 1. So that is interior of this disk. So if you take their intersection, U intersection V, you get S1. So U intersection V will give you S1 because this doesn't have 0 in it. So say 0 is missing from the length space. So their intersection is S1. So this is pi 1 of S1, which is nothing but integers here. Whereas uh, for uh, a space V, the space V, this deformation retracts to a point. So this is trivial right here. And this pi 1 of U, this uh, U is length space minus 0. So this will deformation retract to S1 again. So this will become pi 1 S1. So this will retract on the boundary, which will be integers. So now the only thing is how does this U intersection V which is uh, which uh, will retract to pi 1 of U which is length space minus 0. So for length space minus 0 the boundary is identified as Z1N minus Z2N whereas U intersection V we have not identified the boundary it doesn't have U intersection V is just so it doesn't have the boundary but you still get a circle. So the circle which will project in uh, this length space can only go via this multiplication n.
so you have this multiplication n because you have to uh, wind the circle n times around it to reach the length space so this is multiplication by n so pi 1 x becomes z by nz for length space ln 